So Merry Christmas, and there's certainly someone who's having a Merry Christmas who I have seen running about, having fun, mm-hmm. and uh, doing some good while he's doing it, which is Lord Miles. So I thought we'd have a little bit of an update on Lord Miles and his Christmas adventure, because remember, his trip to Africa is all coinciding with Christmas. And uh, as we can see here, this is where we left off, in which he was evacuated out of South Sudan, because some mysterious virus turned up and killed 100 people, and uh, some other people were hunting him down because they wanted his money. And mm-hmm. he was like, hmm, yeah. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm done here. Yeah. <laughs> also, when he got to the airport, as he posts, the World Health Organization and World Food Program also were arriving in force so yeah probably right time to leave mm. instead of waiting and, and then getting stranded yet again anyway so he uh if we go to the next one he did make it out and uh he's in kenya as he hey. says so he didn't die hooray hooray he make merry <laughs> didn't die in God. south sudan yeah it's the bare minimum <laughs> of <holiday. laughs> anyway. uh so let's go to the next one in which we have his uh visa so this is him posting he gets a visa for uganda rwanda and kenya and then when he gets to tanzania the visa will be upon entry through train potentially because, again, all of his plans are sort of spur-of-the-moment mm. things. Anyway, so let's go to the next one. So we have uh, some more updates from him. Today is goofing off day, like every other day of the year. But tomorrow, I'll travel to remote Kenya to give some supplies to my South Sudanese friend in a refugee camp. It wouldn't be possible without all of the donations, so thank you. Exclamation point. Little happy face. Mm. So, you know, thanks for all that. And he, uh, he also writes here, I'm basically taking... Uh, sorry, I'm talking basically going near the South Sudan bo- Kenyan border. What's the plan? Simple to get there. How? Haven't thought that far. Thus, maybe I don't know. Let's see. So, again, I, I, the no plan man really does have no plan. Anyway, but well, he does come up with a plan. And what was his plan? Get a bus, hitchhike, buy a car, rent a car. I wonder. Nah, walk. Walk. <laughs> so, Walk. The plan is simple, so simple there is no plan. I will go 850 kilometers north to South Sudanese Kenyan border to gift a refugee friend of mine some supplies so he can earn a living. It'll take a few days. What could go wrong? Because uh, remember, he also wanted to walk from Juba to like Uganda and then had to evacuate because of ad said reasons. Yeah. So we'll leave that there. Anyway, <laughs> what could go wrong? As he says, what could possibly go wrong? Who knows? Anyway, moving on. So we go to the next one. He also was hanging around in Kenya there, and found out that the Uber Eats vouchers still work, because Ah. Uber Eats is there, so you can show it in. And he says, uh, time to do some reviews, I'm definitely not ordering it if it can taste soy. Good Uh, call. If we scroll down, you can see him just checking out some of the uh, stuff you can buy, so (laughs) (laughs) thick thick Coke, or sticky wings, which contain soy, so not getting brought, then in a bin. Anyway, if we go to the the next one, we have him just telling a story, and again, this is the, the weird thing of following him. He writes like a schizoid, like he calls it skits posting, which... True. So, let's read this. When I'm at home, I once had a reaction to peanut butter brownie with my neck swelling and a rash appearing on my chest. Naturally, I've been ordering peanut butter products ever since so I can get a thrill again and build up an immunity. Here's a cat I saw. It's just a picture of a cat. It's not related at all. No. Just also, in the middle of all this, just here's a little neat story. <laughs> It's just weird. <laughs> anyway, so moving on, there's also him updating about the fact that he's glad that there's no Taliban in South Sudan because that crossover episode wouldn't be very fun, at no. least until he goes back to Kabul, which, um, spoilers, so we'll leave that there. <laughs> moving on. So let's go to the, the next thing, which he found some other stuff around in Kenya. So this is a thing, which is that he found that loads of companies use pictures of Obama as, like, stock photos. Right. Of, I don't know, black man I don't know. <laughs> what, why why him yeah so just if you want like a picture of like stock photo man they use all use obama and apparently he finds it really weird and it looks like they're s posting every time but yeah okay cool i mean have you ever been to a fast food place here seen the stock photos eh, yeah anyway so let's go to the next one so he also ordered kfc kenyan fried chicken wow it's cheaper yet better than western kfc wow they sadly don't do crushums but they do have hot dogs kenya is great and as you can see they have like some deep fried hot dog i don't know oh yeah i don't know if it's made of chicken presumably it's a chicken hot dog but like wtf we don't have those i want them gibbs yeah it's kfc it's far better than the what the gravy burgers that they're now advertising Ugh. yeah but kfc need to learn some lessons from kenyan kfc and uh, yes set that up anyway take notes Let's move on. So let's go to the hitchhiking. So apparently he decided to go hitchhiking with random people as well, because that's safe, uh, to get to the refugee camp. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's carry on. It's a brave man to me. Yeah, let's go to the next one. So he found some photos of like the local area. And you can see for people listening, just this piece of crap house that's God. either like being built or has been abandoned. So it's hard to tell. And, or has uh, had a bomb go off outside. Yeah, and he's like, house renovation TV shows be like, 
This girl has character, a real charmer with a lot of history. She may need some work, but she'd be great for a modern family. Five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's the state of the West. Anyway, moving on. So we get to the fact that he did end up in the refugee camp, so he did keep his word. And as you can see there, him taking pictures with his friend who invited him down there. Traveled seven hundred and fifty miles into North Kenya, hitchhiked hundred miles in the desert with twenty seven kilograms on my back to the Sudanese refugee camp. Camped overnight and then got a hotel, delivered a fine teen, a good laptop, clothes, my Netflix, and toured the UN camp. Thank you for the donations. And uh, he did end up posting a lot of other stuff where he was posting uh, several other donations to people around there. So if we go to the next one, we got him bitching about the UN because the UN's crap. Mm -hmm. And if we uh, scroll up on this, just so you can see the, the first tweet there, which is just him again mentioning about his family. Sorry, not his family, his uh, friend who invited him there. And he mentions, I've learned a lot about the UN and it's disgusting. There's so much corruption and these people are being forced to pay for supplies that are free. They had to build their own shelter and pay so much. All of the money donated on PayPal will be forwarded to the man who helped me today. And again, it's just the, everything in the UN camps are meant to be free because they're paid for by us, mm. taxpayers, to go and help the needy who have nothing because that's what the UN's for in these cases. And uh, no, on the ground, no. Nothing. You've got to pay. You've got to pay for it. I, I did meant I I saw that like one of the guys he was with has been waiting for like three months to just get some glasses because he can't see properly. Good lord, so can't even do that. That's that's the state of it. So anyway. they have they have one job and they can't even do that. Yeah, but it's also just the efficiency of him just turning up and just helping and the problem solved. Yeah, you know, that's all it takes. No corruption. That's mm. that's the magic bullet. Anyway, so let's go to a, a funny section in which uh, before he set off, you may remember he was arrested under the Terrorism Act. Yes. And this is him posting about the interview he had with the police. <laughs> Secret. During my interrogation by special operations in the UK airport, I had to reveal my future trip plans and they were definitely shocked, but they were like, we won't say it, but you're stupid. However, it's noble and this will be international news, so fair enough. <laughs> so he's listing all his plans out to them and they're just looking at him like, as the image shows, just like, you an idiot? <laughs> like, <laughs> and he's like, yes, I am autistic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tally-ho, chaps. <laughs> On your way, then. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple more things to mention about his time at uh, Christmas holidays in Kenya. So there's him mentioning the fact that um, uh, my shower doesn't work, so I picked up some wet wipes from the KFC oh. block down. But as I opened it, it was actually ketchup I picked up by accident. Oh, dear. Guess who squirted ketchup all over themselves in the shower? How embarrassing. I don't even like ketchup. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Night all... Signed, Ketchup Boy. That, be a, that would not be a comfortable night's sleep, would it? <laughs> yeah, that's just the... Who writes like this? <laughs> like, oh, sorry, from Ketchup Boy. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. What a weird... <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's go to the last one here, which is just the uh, last thing to mention, which is uh, he got a bundle of cash from South Sudan still, which is just the local currency, mm -hmm. so it's worthless anyway. And uh, he mentions here, can't wait to get stopped by security on my flight home in a few weeks when they see this ball of cash and uh, then realise it's not worth thousands Instead, probably nothing. Mm. <laughs> a tenner at best. Yeah, so that's Lord Miles and his Christmas adventure. The Adventures of Daring Dashwood or whatever the hell else you can mm. compare it to. And um, yeah, Merry Christmas to the people of Kenya and South Sudan, I suppose. Yes, Merry Christmas. If you enjoyed that segment from the podcast, The Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as this video, which uh, Carl and John Wheatley did together, looking at the politics of Star Trek and whether or not it's socialism or liberalism. And uh, the answer may surprise you. So go and check that out. And if you'd like to get uh, updates on everything we produce on the site, you can also follow us on getter.com with lotuseaters underscore com being the at. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>